KOMU 8 Sports. Welcome back, everyone. There's a first time for everything. Tomorrow's Missouri basketball game against Baylor is the first ever top five matchup in Big 12 history, not featuring Texas or Kansas. Tomorrow is also the first time the Farrell Center in Waco will host a top five game, and it is completely sold out. The fifth ranked Tigers and the third ranked Baylor Bears are both 17 and one. Baylor's only loss came earlier this week at Kansas. The Tigers' John R. Wooden Award finalist Marcus Denman leads the team in scoring, averaging 17.8 points per game. The Tigers are second in the nation in field goal percentage and lead the Big 12 in, sco in the scoring margin. But on the defensive side, the Baylor Bears lead the Big 12 in steals and blocked shots. Uh, we just got to be uh, smarter with our possessions down the stretch. So, I mean, we're going to watch film and try to uh, capitalize on what we did wrong in the K-State game and bring it to the Baylor game. It's a game where we've got to be we've got to be as sharp as we've been all year. And we understand that. Uh, but what a great opportunity. You know, what a great opportunity. I think that's what our guys uh, want our guys to feel, that, that you have a chance to go in someone's court that's ranked in the top three in the country. The only former football Tigers still standing in NFL play are Justin Smith and Alden Smith of the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers take on the New York, New York Giants on Sunday for the NFC Conference Championship. The Niners, known for its stingy pass rush, rush defense, features sack leader Alden Smith, who's recorded 14 sacks this season. Defensive end Justin Smith is second in team sacks with seven and a half. Well, I think the main thing is we've grown every week. I think uh, our ability to uh, create turnovers and get the turnover has been the key to our success. Like uh, Dante's hit on the goal line, uh, set the tone, set the tempo for what we're going to do that day and, and took points off the board. And, uh, you know, as long as we have some back end guys flying around, hitting people like that, linebackers, D line, you know, we stand a pretty good chance of winning the game. So I, to me, it's all about turnover ratio and, and taking points off the board. And, and more news around the NFL. St. Louis fans, get your best British accent ready. The St. Louis Rams will play the Patriots in England next NFL season. The Rams will play one game in England per season for the next three years. And an interesting connection to England, Rams owner Stan Kroenke is the majority shareholder in the English soccer club Arsenal. And uh, that is sports. Back to news. <laughs> that was pretty good. I liked it. A familiar aquatic animal may be feeling.